Hello, chums. I'd like to run while remaining in a stationary location. Is that cool, Beans? Hello, Invincible fans. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you never miss an update from us. Today, we're diving into Season 2 of Invincible and discussing the top three fan-favorite episodes. Let's get started. Coming in at number three, we have This Missive, This Machination. This episode is likely one of the best installments in the entirety of Invincible. It is described as an incredibly different and refreshing continuation of the story. Mark starts his college career, Debbie struggles with personal trauma, and Alan the Alien returns home to find a new threat facing the coalition of planets. The episode ends on a cliffhanger. Mark, it would have been better if you had stopped him before he destroyed another one of America's greatest treasures. It's not destroyed. Next up, at number two, we have In About Six Hours, I Lose My Virginity to a Fish. This episode follows Mark as he deals with three of Cecil's assignments, each involving a lavish fight scene. Simultaneously, Atom Eve struggles to help others. Debbie tries to return to work. The new guardians suffer infighting, and Amber gets involved in local politics. It's a lot to deal with in 40 minutes. The episode comes within inches of this when Invincible ends up in the eerie Midnight City, a cursed neighborhood resembling the blood-red Gotham from Batman, the animated series, in order to arrest Darkwing, a Batman parody. But this proves to be yet another straightforward scene with little purpose beyond depicting Mark's current crime-fighting routine. A trip to a stand-in for Aquaman's Atlantis, an encounter with an Aquaman stand-in from which it derives its title, is at least slightly more tongue-in-cheek when it erupts into violence. And sometimes things are the way they are for a good fucking reason. And finally, at number one, we have It's Been a While. This episode is considered the finest of the second season so far and one of the best superhero outings in years. It's emotionally gutting, action-packed, narratively satisfying, and ends with one of the most haunting cliffhangers since the one that finished the first season. The episode opens by filling in the gap of Nolan's departure from Earth. He wandered about the cosmos and nearly drifted into a black hole. But instead, he rescued a few Thraxans about to suffer the same fate. He stands before Mark again, as was seen in the previous episode. Mark is relieved but ultimately unhappy to see his father, staying only to help the Thraxans. Nolan has a new wife, Andressa, and a new child with her as well. Since when do you drink coffee? Since I got my powers. Oh, I hadn't noticed. From a fan's perspective, these episodes stand out due to their compelling storytelling, well-developed characters, and the unique twist on the classic superhero tale. They delve deep into complex themes of family, morality, and the burdens of power keeping viewers captivated. The animation work in this series has received a noticeable upgrade, with characters and backdrops now popping that much more. Despite its scattered structure, Invincible's second season shines a light on its strongest elements, long enough to leave a lasting impact. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow Invincible fans. Stay tuned for more exciting content and as always, thanks for watching. Until next time, stay super.